What's up everybody, it's Sean here. Super excited to give you guys my review of the Joe Fresh Goods collaboration with New Balance on the 993 in this performance art collection. Today's video is brought to you by Soul Savvy. Soul Savvy is a membership-based community of like-minded, passionate sneakerheads with a true love for shoes. And as a member of Soul Savvy, they give you a ton of perks to help you buy the shoes that you want for retail. For example, sneaker website monitors, add to cart links, training sessions for big sneaker releases, a member-only store where they sell shoes only for retail, and they also have an app called Soul Savvy Collect where you can buy, sell, trade, and show off your collection, and you know that anyone you're transacting with is going to be legit because they've all been individually vetted by Soul Savvy. So I've been a member pretty much since they started, and they definitely helped me buy a lot of shoes that I wanted for retail. And if you guys still aren't convinced, you can also enroll in their mobile plan for their drops app as well, where you get sneaker release information, links to sneaker raffles, and sneaker drop alerts that go straight to your phone. So if you guys want to learn more about Soul Savvy and potentially become a member, I'll add a link down below in the description box and be sure to tell them I sent you. So these three pairs right here are part of the Joe Fresh Goods New Balance 993 collection, which he's called the Performance Art Collection. All three unexpectedly released on Joe Fresh Goods Instagram shop on October 17th, and I believe there's supposed to be a wider release later on this month. Though based on the rumors I've heard so far, allegedly the pink colorway is an exclusive to Joe Fresh Goods Instagram shop, whereas the blue one is definitely going to be releasing worldwide. And I'm not sure about the sage green one, but definitely take this information with a grain of salt. As of right now, none of this is confirmed. This is just based off of rumors that I've read. Either way though, all three pairs retail for a price of 220 US dollars each, and they retail for 285 Canadian dollars. And all three pairs are manufactured in the USA. So this one right here is nicknamed the Sage Colorway, and the style code is MR993JG1. And then next up we have this one right here, which is called the Powder Pink Colorway, and the code for this one is MR993JH1. And then last but not least, this blue one is called the Arctic Blue Colorway, and the product code is MR993JF1. So first off, here's a quick look at the box. And as you can see, this comes in a cream colored cardboard box, which has a similar design to the normal made in USA boxes. So we have the USA flag on the top with the word made in the middle. And then on the side here, we have Joe Fresh Goods branding as well. So diving into the details of this shoe. So all three pairs are constructed out of a combination of mesh, nubuck, and suede. So on the toe box of all three pairs, we have this thick gray colored mesh and we have a tonal reflective 3M layer in the middle right above it. Overlaid on either side of the toe box, we have this perforated nubuck, which is also done in that same tonal finish. And then surrounding the front toe cap, here we have a suede overlay. So this same suede covers the mid panel and the eyelets of the shoe. And the top two eyelets are constructed in this TPU material, and it's done in a slightly lighter shade, but in the same sort of tone. Stitched on top of the mid panel, we have the New Balance N logo, which is done in that reflective 3M finish. And then moving downwards, we have more of that same mesh that we saw earlier on the toe box. We have another overlay of that perforated nubuck. And then surrounding the bottom of the heel, we have more of that plush suede. And then pressed onto the lateral side of the back heel, we have 993 branding. And in the middle, we have this oval shaped cutout, revealing this USA flag with JFG or Joe Fresh Goods branding in the middle. And then the top of the heel is covered in more nubuck, which is of course done once again in that tonal finish. Beneath this, surrounding the bottom of the heel, we have this translucent TPU heel clip with New Balance branding in the center, and this helps give you additional structure and support for the back end of the sneaker. And then as we turn our attention back to the front, so in terms of laces, they each come with two different lace options. The standard or default lace is this very vivid cream colored lace, which even has a bit of an orange tone to it. But if you're not feeling these laces, they also give you the secondary lace, which is basically done in that tonal finish, matching the respective color of the shoe. Underneath this, the tongue is constructed out of mesh on the bottom, and we have the suede overlay on the top, and embroidered across the center, we have New Balance Made in USA branding, along with 993 branding underneath this. The back of the tongue and the interior of the shoe is lined in this mesh material, and then as for the insoles, so these come with a pretty well padded foam insole, it's lined in a tonal textile finish on top, and we have Joe Fresh Goods and New Balance co-branding stamped on the heel. So the upper of the 993 sits atop this chunky midsole, which is constructed out of a combination of Absorb, Activa, and Absorb DTS on the heel. The midsole is painted in that creamy color that matches the color of the laces, and then the back half of the midsole is painted in a darker tonal finish, coinciding with the respective color of the rest of the shoe. 
And then as we turn the pairs over to the bottom, so the outsoles here are constructed out of rubber, for the most part in the same tonal finish, matching the color of the midsole. So that breaks down the look and the construction of all three pairs. And for those wondering about sizing, so for all three of them, I opted to go half size down to a size nine and a half. So I'm a true size 10 slightly on the wider side, and I find that the 993 fits pretty roomy, so I prefer to go a half size down. To give you guys a point of comparison, I also wear a 9.5 in other New Balance silhouettes like the 992, the 990 V3, V4, V5, a lot of my 550s as well, and the 998. And in comparison, I stick true to size or a size 10 in other New Balance silhouettes like the 2002R, the 1906R, the 990 V2, and the 997 because I find that those two models fit a little bit more narrow in the toe box. And also a lot of made in UK models like the 991, the 1500, and the 1530, I usually stick true to size with those ones as well. Next up, in terms of the comfort, so all three pairs fit and feel exactly the same, and I gotta say the 993 is definitely one of New Balance's most comfortable silhouettes out there. If you've worn a 992 before, I feel like it's a bit softer compared to the 992, and it just has a very plush but not overly soft cushioning setup which feels amazing underfoot. So if you're looking for a very comfortable sneaker that you can wear for many hours in a day, I would highly, highly recommend the 993. Last but not least, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship. So first off, material quality, I thought it was excellent. The suede's live up to the made in USA reputation, and they have a very nice soft feel to them to the touch. You run your fingers across the suede, you can see that natural changing of the colors. So I was very pleased with the materials on all three pairs. And in terms of the craftsmanship, it was very, very solid. I wouldn't say that it was perfect. There were some glue stains on one of the pairs and some of the panels were slightly inconsistently cut, but it really wasn't a major deal at all. So I was very pleased with how all three looked in person. So with all that out of the way now, let me toss all three on feet and I'll show you guys how these look. Whenever Joe Fresh Goods and New Balance collaborate, more often than not they have a hit on their hands. And I gotta say, with this performance art collection, I think they did it again. While this isn't gonna be for everyone, I know these pastel tones can be a bit of a turnoff for some people, and they aren't necessarily the easiest shoes to pull off, but I really like the end result of this collection. Pairing this pastel sort of tones with the vintage flair with these cream colored laces and midsole. I thought these looked excellent in the stock photos, but they look even better in person on feet. If I had to rank them from best to worst, I gotta go number one with the sage green colorway easily. I think this one is just the easiest pair to rock. It's just so versatile and so wearable. And then second probably would be the blue one, but this powder pink is just right behind it at number three. I just think the pink one is a little bit tougher for me to wear personally, but I could see a lot of people having this pink colorway as their favorite, and I could totally understand why. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of all three colorways of this Joe Fresh Goods and New Balance 993 collection. How would you personally rank them from best to worst? Drop a comment down below, I'm curious to know what you guys have to say. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, check out my Twitter page at sean.go, and visit my website at seango.ca. 
So until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. A big shout out goes out to Soul Savvy, the sponsor for today's video. Appreciate the continued love and support, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.